Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Drop. Hey, <laughs> we here! Drop the heat on a very special edition right here in Bronx, New York. Hold on, 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 hold on. Yo, no disrespect, bro. But we on Drop the Heat, and I do this to everybody, so I gotta do it to you. All right. Who are you? Shit, I'm Jaffa Dallas. Jaffa Dallas, what's good, my brother? I love, love it. What's going on, my G? Yeah, we feeling good, man. I'm with the team right now. It's a blast. Okay. Yep. Welcome to the Bronx, bro. You in the trenches. My mom's from here. You, nah, bro. You in the trenches, bro. Oh, this is the trenches? This is the trenches, bro. They're not going to believe this. Welcome. Go home. They're not going to believe this. <laughs> they not going to believe this. How you been, bro? How's everything? Good, man. You know what I'm saying? I just moved to Dallas, so it's just been a little different. Oh, Dallas. Yeah. You from basketball? I watch it. Oh, okay. okay. So how I you feel about it. the Dallas Mavericks? I went to a game. I was, I was seeing Kyrie in the blue and white. Yeah, it was, it was cool. I mean, it was my first time seeing Kyrie. Fine. I was good. Kyrie! Yeah, I fucked with Kyrie, fuck Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Luka type too. Uh, but I'm not going to lie, it was that game they was playing Charlotte. Ball was busting their ass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, man. Hey. That was crazy. Hey, yo! <laughs> welcome to New York, my brother. Hey, yo, bro. This is what happens. Let's get it out the way. Yo, bro. <laughs> I want to I want to talk about the project. That, I want to talk about the project that's just dropped right now. Please don't forget me. Nah, no, no, no. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. You dropped the project, but let's 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 backtrack. People got to know who you are first. Okay, what? You know I mean, so my boy Rob told me that you guys met in college. Yeah, but Arizona. Tell, yeah, tell me tell me a little bit of backtrack of who you are because you live in Dallas now. Yeah. But you lived in New York for a little while. Yeah. Then you was in Arizona. Like, bro, what's what's going on? I need I need to hear I need to hear a little backstory about who you are, where you came from, all that shit. And your mom's from here. How? Like, I need to know. So my grandma was born here. Okay. She had my mom at sixteen. Okay. And then my mom was born here, and then my grandma went to the military and moved to South Carolina. From there, you know, we'll fast forward. I went to college. I played college soccer. That's how I met Rob. He was out there from New York. He was about to ball, but then he was like, fuck out of here. I don't want to do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, I started you about to play soccer? Nah, he's about to play basketball. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can't, I mean, he, I think he can play soccer. I don't know. <laughs> he said he got the footwork. Little... So through that, then I left school, tried to join the military. I went to boot camp, almost finished it. Then they found out a lot of my medical records. So when I dropped out, I ended up making a song with Mark Battles and Tory Lanez and then I started making music after that. I was like, oh, maybe I should take this serious. Okay. Maybe I, I should take this serious. Well, I song Tory yeah. Maybe I should take this serious. Well, it wasn't until I made that K-pop song. And okay. then niggas got the plaque off it. And I was like, all right, I don't want that for myself. Okay. And so I reached out to Rob and then, you know, brought the whole team. I was like, yo, let's really do this. You know what I mean? Like, let's make a gentleman's crack at it. <laughs> I, love, I, love the, I love the metaphors, bro. Yeah. For real. So what, 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 made you, what made you not finish boot camp, bro? I was trying to, but... Uh, once they found I know, out a lot about my medical records, it was like, nah. And I could have gone back, but I would have to wait three years. And I know what you said on your medical records. No, you I didn't have back. asthma and I didn't have flat feet. I had both. <laughs> it was double homicide. Oh. <laughs> 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 See? That's, yeah, that, that's, that's gold. That's gold. <laughs> Yo, bro. All right, all right, but no problem. That just reminded me. I have, I have a friend. I have a friend that he was he was about to get like not drafted, but yeah. he got he got scouted by the Padres and they let him go because he he lied on his shit. Also, he was yeah. twenty eight years old. He played. He was eighteen. Hey, maybe right? he might become a rapper. He, yeah, <laughs> he in DR. He in DR still. So hey, that's. Why oh, I was in DR. Are you from DR? No, nah, I'm from Dominica. I'm, 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 hey, I'm from Harlem. Oh, okay. I'm from Harlem. <laughs> no, I'm from Harlem. Now I'm from Harlem, but I'm Dominican. <laughs> now listen, I'm, okay. Dominican. I'm Dominican. I promise. I'm from. I'm, yeah, I promise. I'm that's from Harlem. Right. I'm Dominican. Okay, gotcha, that's, gotcha. That's, that's, that's how I know wrong. Oh, okay. yo. You Dominican too? Yeah, for sorry, we get that. <laughs> Come on, now. Move yo. on this way. <laughs> where, do you, where do you see yourself in the next five years before we talk to talk about the project? Honestly, I see myself everywhere. I'm just trying to be a household name, but not sell out for it. Okay. So, like Mac that? Miller said, I'm trying to go on Border Ridge. All right. Get married to a local chick. You feel me? <laughs> is Mac Miller one of your inspirations? Most definitely. Only artist I cried for when they died. Really? Yeah. I got a Juice World tattoo. 
Oh, word. Yeah, you should have heard what this nigga said earlier. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I cried. I cried when Juice Everything's full circle. He wouldn't say that shit again. I got <laughs> 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 I cried. I know you wanted to know what he said. I don't even know what he said. He didn't say anything. 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 He so. It's just culture, and it's like, you know what I mean, y'all are pretty upfront with y'all's energy, you know what I mean? Like, when I was living in L.A., it's kind of like, you know, the vibes aren't always as, like, consistent, and you know what I mean? You gotta try and weave through shit to see what it really is. Y'all, it's like, it's like this, take it or leave it, and I respect that. That's fire. You know what I mean? All you right. get that type of upfront respect, you know what I mean? I'm a fuck, if I fuck with you, it's because I actually fuck with you, you know what I mean? Y'all can get your own shit. Yeah. <laughs> So I like that. <laughs> All right, but and what and how do you stay? Cause me, I'm a family man. I can yeah. see, I can see that you are, you real family oriented. Oh yeah, yourself, bro. I'm out here. I got, I got a daughter. I got a son. Really? I mean, yeah. That's yeah. fire, bro. How do, how do you make time for all that? Cause, bro. I'm not even lie, sometimes it's hard. Nothing. I didn't know you had you had kids, but yeah. I didn't know you have kids. That means I hold it down. you gotta you gotta <laughs> hold it down for the kids. Yeah. You still gotta see your mom. You gotta go. Uh, like, how can you just focus on being an artist when you got so much shit you gotta do? Let's see the bigger picture. It's gonna hurt now, but when we thriving in the future, that's the last thing they're gonna be worried about. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to hustle as much as I can to make every moment count. That's why I go so hard. <laughs> Super fire, bro. Yeah. Super fire. Let's talk about the project. And the name is Please don't forgive me. Please How don't could you? <laughs> <laughs> you have a you I'm not gonna lie, I heard the I heard the entire project uh yesterday. Where? And I heard it I heard the entire project yesterday and I heard half of it on my way over here again. Word. Um, it, none of the songs sound the same Appreciate at all. That. I was, I was, I'm, and I'm, I don't, I don't cap for nothing, bro. Like mm-hmm. I keep, I keep this shit fire. I mean, I keep this shit straight when I talk about music and everything. I think give you, I'll, I'll give you the tape eight out of ten. You know what I'm saying? I'll take that. Give it eight <laughs> out of ten. Um, I like how it's, I like how it started with a Casco Band beat that I've heard a lot mm-hmm. of people use. Feel me? Um, but throughout the throughout the project, like I don't know if you wanted to make that. Pop music, or you wanted to yeah. rap for real? You know what I'm saying? So like, I know, I know you're gonna have, I know this tape in particular. People might not like it straight through, but you're gonna yeah. have fans pick out one song, two songs. I like two songs off the shit. Like, yeah. like I said, um, songs that you got with your man's out there. Yeah, five hundred five. Five hundred five. And yeah. I like, and I like the last song on the record too. Oh, uh, schoolboy. Schoolboy Q. Yeah. yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was some. <laughs> Shout out to I, that, yeah. That's that <laughs> shit. That's that <laughs> shit right there. I'm, <laughs> He know how he know music. I'm telling you, Schoolboy Q. He actually like, executive right produced this one. He did my last one. Oh like, really? Just, uh, all my friends usually like help me create the sound. Cause nah, for sure. I make so much music. I like to experiment. Like you said, some of it you don't know if I want to do pop or not. Yeah. They help me stay focused. You know what I mean? Cause from making pop music and then hitting with pop music, sometimes I'm like, damn, do I just want to do that? Yeah. Or do I want to rap? But I'm trying. I'm starting to find me. That's awesome, bro. So yeah. Any any anybody else that you look up to that you would like to collab with, like collab with in the future? Smino. You can't say Drake. Everybody want to work with Drake. That's a uh, cheat code. No, I just want to listen to Drake. All right, but yeah, man. but Smino, uh, Jid, shit. I want to make some music with Erica Badu, of course. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. Uh, shit. I even make some music with Paramore. Like, I mean, I can really go to any genre and find someone I'd love to make music with. Really? Yeah, except country. I don't know. I can have a cold beer on a Friday night. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So, yo, bro, if you were to if you were to choose like to go back, would you wish not to have you know lied on your medical record, or you you would have stayed on this on this path to be a musician? Honestly, if I didn't lie, I wouldn't have gone in. So I don't know what I would have been doing. I'd have probably still been trying to play soccer. Really? Yeah. Like. They say everything happens for a reason, bro. Like, do you have any regrets in your life, or do you just... I don't miss trying to go to the military, but I do miss not playing anymore. Like, at one point, I thought I was going to be like... like That was my goal, to be on the cover of FIFA. Now I found out how to get my music on FIFA, so that's my next goal. Ah. <laughs> that's fire, bro. Yeah. Nah, that, that, that's good tunes, fam. Yeah. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. One thing, one thing when, I, when I was listening to with the project is... You're really gonna you you're really gonna like stay with the with the youth with this project, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's not it's not boring. 
Yeah. And like I said, it's, it's jumping around from a lot of genres and shit, but yeah. it's just showing how versatile you are. A lot of people do that shit. Yeah. Is there any advice that you should give to any artist that that could, you know, they don't have, they don't like, they're gonna ask you like, yo, bro, how you got this song with uh uh? How you got how you how you make mix and master it like this? So yeah. so how you met this person? Like, what's the advice you can give to people that are first coming into this shit? Be yourself. You know what I mean? I think that's the thing that always helped us from the start. We never try to be somebody we weren't, you know what I mean? And then keep solid people around you that'll keep that mentality on you because you will lose yourself when this shit start working, you know what I mean? Niggas like that keep you around, keep you motivated to stay you because once you start doing some other shit, you know, that's when it gets weird. Yeah. You know, stay you, be genuine you, and just make music you want to want to listen to. Yeah. You know what I mean? How long you been doing this shit, bro? I started in 2015 on GarageBand, had the little USB mic. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. How many interviews have you done before? Uh... I, I did Team Vogue and I did Genius. You definitely... Everything good? Yeah, what? Right, but, no, I don't... I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> no, no, that's not... That's not... That's not... That's not... What's his name? Damn. Lost my train of thought. How many interviews? About? Oh, yeah. How, how many interviews have you done before? You've uh, done a lot, I did, right? I did K-pop one and I did Team Vogue. Yeah, bro. This is, you, you know how to... You, you don't need no interview training, bro. You're not hey, signed to nothing, right? Bro. As I'm signed as a writer to Warner Channel. Yo, bro. You don't need no... You don't need no... Interview training, bro. You, you know how to answer these questions, bro. Appreciate that, I got man. another one coming for you. Ready? Oh, shit. Nah, yeah, I, I have to, bro. You know, there's a, the women are owning the game right now, bro. Mm -hmm. If you were to choose, a lot of people don't like answering this question on my yeah. platform, bro. Cardi B or Nicki Minaj? Yo, somebody's calling you, bro. Thank God. Oh, my God. <laughs> nah, um. <laughs> Did you decline it? A lot of people don't like answering this, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I, I, if you do choose the person, I would like to know why you chose that person and not choose the other person. Uh, or you could plead the fifth. Yeah, I would plead the fifth because I like both of them. But I come That's from what everybody actual, says, yo. Yeah, but it's because I come from an actual, like, writer's perspective. Some of their songs are, like, mad unique. You okay. You know what I mean? It's dope. I like how Nicki Minaj can keep reinventing herself. And also what I like about Cardi B is people like her for her. The music isn't necessarily, like, she's... Doing something totally innovative, but yeah. she's dope. Okay. So, yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yo, you interview train like a motherfucker. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that, bro. Yo, bro, what do you see, what do you see yourself um, at the beginning of the next year, bro? Because everybody has a plan for the first quarter already. If you yeah. really end this shit. I already got my plan. I know. Already. I know. I know. <laughs> So if you mind, if you could tell us a little bit about the first quarter, what we should, what we should, uh, what should we expect from yourself? So my boy Retro is about to drop a project next month. Yes, sir. Um, we're going to Japan in May to perform at a fashion show out there. Uh, I'm about to hit Laos, Taiwan, doing some stuff with Sony. I got some writing camps. Like I'm already, I'm already set up. You know what I mean? It's just about what's gonna make me hit first. <laughs> That's super fire, bro. Pretty much. Okay. Well, um, you also said you also said you was a writer. I didn't mm -hmm. even know that, bro. Which is yeah, super I write K-pop. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not even about to sit down and ask. Like, I'm going into that shit, but give me a little bit of the songwriter world, bro, because it's wild. Yeah, give me a little bit. Of, a <laughs> You'd little be surprised how many people don't write their music. I've been in some rooms, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been in some rooms, and uh, it's very interesting. I've been on songs I'm not even credited for. Yeah, but it is what it is. I was there. Okay, that just helps me train the pen a little longer. But yeah, it's it's crazy, but I learned a lot. All right, for the artists that I'm going to ask you this because this is something that I would love upcoming artists to know. How do NDAs work? Mm, I can say what I just said without saying who I'm saying it about. <laughs> like, what, like is, what is an NDA? It's basically a non disclosure agreement mm -hmm. that, you know, A, B, and C aren't allowed to be talked about and we will go after you. Awesome. And, yeah. why is, and why is that something that's important in the, in the music industry? Because, like, you know, certain people have, like, images and things that hold, like... Like, when I wrote the K-pop song, I actually wasn't able to talk about it or nothing until the song dropped. Because, like, I did I did a tweet about it, and it said Warner Bros. took it down on Twitter. And I was like, what the fuck? Can that happen? Yeah. So, like, that stuff is real. Like, <laughs> for sure. I had to learn the hard way, but luckily I never got blackballed for it, and it just taught me. Free game. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yo, bro, I needed that. I needed that clickbait, bro. But look, hey, I just want to go viral, nigga. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Yo, bro, is there anything you want to say to the people before we get out of here? Shit, thank y'all for letting me in y'all city and really popping my shit off real quick. You feel me? Mm. Yeah. Awesome, bro. Before we get out of here, though, I want to know anything about the next project. Do we have any spoilers? Anything that you could tell the drop the heat audience? 
For this project or the one coming? No, the one coming. Oh, man. Because he's shooting a, he's shooting he's a, shooting a video out here. We are shooting I pulled a video. up. He was eating a chopped cheese. He didn't even let me know, but it's all good. <laughs> I mean, I'm still be a part of some cameras, like hopefully. It. I was like... <laughs> yeah, but we, we here. We here. I'm, I definitely got two videos coming. 505 and Schoolboy, which is funny because those are the ones you like the most. I already yeah. shot Schoolboy in Dallas. Oh, okay, and I was okay. Five hundred five today. So you saying those two, your favorite was wow. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's a pick the right ones. <laughs> yeah, those are my shits. Those are the ones that's downloaded on my phone, bro. For my real, favorite bro. is Smash, by the way, for anybody who hears it. That's my favorite song on the album. <laughs> awesome. Have you have you and Cash met before? Him? Yeah. No, Cash Cobain. No, never. Never. Mm. Okay. I see that you got a Cash Cobain beat. That's what I was asking. No, never. Uh, I met through somebody else and they helped me get on it uh, when I do my writing camps and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, certain opportunities come and I'm like, all right, cool. If I can use it, fuck yeah. <laughs> awesome, awesome. When do you leave? Uh, Monday. Monday, I'm going to see if I can connect y'all before y'all leave, bro. Dude, that's hard. Nah, that's, that's my boy. So for me, I'm going to see if I can connect y'all. <laughs> right here first. I'm saying it on camera because it's going to happen. It's my boy. It's appreciate my boy. Y'all. Don't play with me. My boy Rob, I appreciate this shit. Yoffrey, thank you, bro. Again, yes, sir, man, appreciate yo, you, you. You already know what's going on. It's your boy Ben Samo. Yo, make sure you stream. Please don't forget me. Out now, all streaming platforms are going crazy. Yo, bro, thank you for the sit down, bro. Yes, sir. Real, real. Give you, give me a shout out your platform before we get out of here. Before anything, they need to know where to find you, bro. Joffrey Domus on all platforms. G E O double F R O D A M U S. You already know what it is. You already know what's going on, your boy. Ben Samu, Jafar Thomas to left me. We in the Bronx, New York. Yes, I said it. The Bronx, New York. He came to the trenches. Yeah, yeah. You already know what's going on. Drop the home home coming time. Shout out my mama. Out of here. <laughs> shout out my mama. Yeah, shout out my mama. <laughs> All right, bye. Thank you. <laughs>